And uh, this is the LCM, the least common multiple, and this is the quick review. All right, so remember, the least common multiple is the union of the factors, the union of the factors. Now, if you do the LCM of the denominators, you'll end up with the LCD, the lowest common denominator. And that's kind of what we're going to do here in this a lesson. So how do you find the LCM or the LCD of the denominators? You factor. Okay, so 20, going to take a 10 out. 10, 2 times 5, and that n of squared is an n times n. Okay, 12, 2 times 6, 6, 2 times 3, and we still have the p. 30, 10 times 3, 10, 2 times 5, and there we go. Okay, so remember I taught you if you list your factors in chart form, then you'll be able to figure out the union. So the first number has a 2 times 2. Now there's going to be a 5, but I'm going to leave a space for a 3. So then the 5, and then n times n. All right, so that's the first number. 2 times 2 times 5 times n times n. The second number is 2 times 2 times 3 times p, all right? And the third number is 2 times 3 times 5. All right, so do you remember how to do the LCM, which is also the LCD of the denominators? So remember, the union means you have to represent every column, whether it's full or not, doesn't matter. So a 2 for that 2 column, a 2 for that 2 column, a 3 for the 3 column, 5 for the 5, n, n, p, and we're going to multiply this out to figure it out. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. N squared P. Hey, there's the LCM of the factors of those denominators, which gives us the lowest common denominator. So remember, least common multiple, you're looking for the union of the factors.